Simulan mong abutin ang iyong pangarap Na magbibigay danga sa iyong bukas Ang suliranin Hindi laging nandyan dapat mong harapin Kami iyong kasama sa bawat takin Magkaakbay nating lulutasin Dito sa Gagabay sa iyong pagkamulat Naway umukit ito sa iyong isipan Maging mapanuri Sundin ang wasto at nararapat Kagandahang nasal ang ipakita Ipadama ang pusong may malasakit Dito sa Fernandino Teens TV Ating harapin ng walang takot Sasamahan ka ni Fernan At dino ang bagong barkada mo Fernandino Tint TV A pleasant day, Fernandino Tints. I'm hopeful that you are doing fine. Welcome to another fun and educational episode of Fernandina Teens TV Season 2. This is Mamuela F. Velasquez, your ICT teacher lecturer for today. Let us explore the advanced world of TLE ICT, Information and Communication Technology. Today, we will discuss about computer workstation ergonomics in which you will learn how to maintain appropriate posture when sitting in front of the computer and how to handle your computer hardware parts properly. This competency is part of the TLECHS Grade 7, Computer Hardware Servicing 7 Curriculum. I know that you are eager to learn more about this lesson, so let's get started! Let us see if you still remember the hardware components of a computer before we begin our discussion. Look at the pictures. Use the given letter clues to guess their names. If you are watching on YouTube, you can leave a comment with your answers below. You can write your answers on a piece of paper if you are watching through your television. Are you ready? Let us start! First device. Fernandina Teens, did you get it right? If you answered monitor, then you guess it correctly. Keep up the good work. Second device. Fernandina Teens, did you get it right?
If you answered mouse, then you are correct. Now let's move on to the next one. Third device. So what is the answer? You are correct if you answered keyboard. Excellent! Let us see the next picture. Fourth device. What do you think is this one? If you answered speaker, then you got it right. Good job! Last picture. What could it possibly be? If you answered web camera, then you are correct. Brilliant! How did your activity go? I believe you identified all of them successfully. After all, these hardware parts were discussed in past school years, so you are already familiar with them. Fernandina Teens, you did a fantastic job! Always keep in mind that these are the computer's most important hardware components, which must be handled with care. Do you know how to use your computer hardware parts with proper positioning? Keep your attention focused because that will be introduced later in the discussion. Before we get started with our lesson, let's pick at today's objectives. In this episode, you will be able to First, define computer ergonomics. Second, Recognize good health practices when working in your computer workplace. And lastly, you will be able to Observe and follow the correct posture when sitting in front of the computer. Fernandina Teens, now that you know what the lesson's objectives are, let's have an activity before we move on to the discussion. To answer on the activity, follow the given directions. Thumbs up if the picture shows proper position when sitting in front of the computer. And thumbs down if it does not show proper position. Again, you can type your answers in the comment section below if you are watching through YouTube. Or you can write your answers on a piece of paper if you're watching through your television. Are you ready? Let us start! First picture. Have you made your guesses, Fernandina Teens? If you answered thumbs up, then you are right. Good job. Keep it up. Next picture, please. Second picture. What do you think is the answer for this one? If you answered thumbs down, then you are correct. Awesome. Keep it up. Next picture. Third picture. What is your answer, Fernandina Teens? If you answered thumbs down, then you are correct. Very good. Keep it up, Fernandina Teens. Next picture. Fourth picture. What about this one? If you answered thumbs up, then you are right. Very good. You are doing so well. Next picture. Fifth picture. How about this last picture? If you answered thumbs down, then you are right. Very good. Good job, Fernandina Teens. 
So how did the activity go? I am sure you answered all of them correctly. The reason I showed you these pictures is because these images are all connected to our lesson for today. Computer Workstation Ergonomics During the COVID-19 pandemic, computer and technology became essential during a time of isolation and social distancing. The world depends on computers to learn, live, and stay connected. Students were able to utilize computers as their primary means of connecting with teachers and to have classes online. As a result, the majority of computer users have had health concerns such as stress, eye strains, wrist, neck, and back pain. What is computer workstation ergonomics? Computer workstation ergonomics is the discipline of matching the task to the worker using the most appropriate equipment to optimize human well-being and overall performance. Computer ergonomics talks ways to improve your computer workstation to reduce the specific risk of eye strain, wrist strain, neck pain, and other health problems associated with the regular use of computers. Computer ergonomics is the study of how we interact with our computers. Scientists that study computer ergonomics attempt to find resolutions to strain, fatigue, and injuries caused by poor product design or workplace arrangement. The goal is to produce an overall comfortable and relaxed workplace setting and to have good posture while using computers. Here are some good health practices to follow when working at your computer workstation. Work surface height. Adjust the height of the work surface or your chair so that your elbows are bent 90 degrees. Forearms are parallel to the floor, wrists are straight, and shoulders are relaxed. Keep your arms and legs on a 90-degree angle at all times so that your arms and legs are relaxed. Always keep your shoulders back and your back straight. Use an adjustable chair that adjusts your height and helps you maintain excellent posture while reducing back discomfort. If your chair is at a height where your feet cannot touch the floor, place a footrest, a small stool, or a chair, or low stack of books below your feet. This will provide stability that will aid you in sitting up straight. Avoid crossing your legs, knees, and ankles. Keeping your feet flat or rested on the floor or a footrest can prevent muscle imbalances such as leg cramps and muscle aches. Distance from screen Viewing distance has everything to do with how far you are from the computer screen. You won't be able to read the screen correctly if you are too far away. If you get too near, you'll have to cope with your eye strain. The key to optimal monitor positioning is to keep your monitor at least 2 feet or 2.5 feet far away from your eyes to avoid eye strain and other related eye injuries or pain. The 20-20-20 rule is an effective method to avoid eye strain or eye fatigue. Stare at anything at least 20 feet away for 20 seconds every 20 minutes. There are still other things to remember when working at your computer workstation. This will be discussed by yours truly after a short break. Stay tuned, Fernandina Teens! Ang Schools Division Office, City of San Fernando, Pampanga ay kaisa ng Department of Education sa pagsasagawa ng mga proyekto at programa na tumutugon sa mga pangangailangan ng mga mag-aaral. Inilunsad ang Division Call Center for Tutors and Guidance Counselors upang magbigay ng educational at psychological assistance sa mga mag-aaral, magulang at stakeholders ng division. Kaya... 
Kung may nais kayong itanong tungkol sa pag-aaral, maaaring magpadala ng mensahe sa Division Call Center for Tutors and Guidance Counselors Facebook page o tumawag sa mga numero na makikita sa ibaba ng inyong screen tuwing lunes hanggang biyernes sa ganap na alas 8 ng umaga hanggang alas 6 ng gabi. Maaari rin kayong sumangguni sa ating guidance counselors na nagbibigay ng guidance and counseling services. Lahat ng inyong ibabahagi ay mananatiling confidential. Ang nasabing programa ay nagsisilbing daan upang malaman ang feedbacks ng stakeholders para matulungan ang ating division na mapagbuti pa ang mga sumusunod na programa. Ano pang hinihintay ninyo? Tumawag na sa aming mga numero o bumisita na sa aming Facebook page at magpadala ng inyong mga katanungan. Fernandino Tint TV Welcome back, Fernandino Teens TV. Before the break, I discussed the meaning of computer workstation ergonomics and some of the good health practices to keep in mind when working with your computer workstation. We will now continue discussing about the rest of the good health practices. Are you ready? Let us continue. Posture and Environment Change posture at frequent intervals to minimize fatigue. Avoid awkward postures at the extremes of the joint range, especially the wrists. Take frequent short rest breaks rather than infrequent longer ones. Avoid sharp increases in work rate. Changes should be gradual enough to ensure that the workload does not result in excessive fatigue. After prolonged absences from work, the overall duration of periods of keyboard work should be increased gradually if conditions permit. These are the benefits of having good posture. Number one, it can reduce the irregular wearing of joint surfaces that could result in pain. Number two, decreases the tension on the muscles holding the joints of the spine together. Three, it can help improve breathing and blood circulations. Four, good posture can prevent the spine from becoming fixed in abnormal positions. Five, lessens the risk of fatigue by using muscles more efficiently, allowing the body to use less energy. Six, Avoids muscle strain or overuse problems such as back or neck pain. 7. Contributes to a good appearance. It is not only about how you show yourself when you have good posture. Poor posture can have a negative impact on your physical and emotional health. Good posture is the way that you feel about yourself. Improving your posture can help you stay focused and more energized throughout the day. Good posture can help improve your mood too. Now let us do an activity to help you better comprehend posture and the environment. To complete the exercise, comment heart emoji if the image portrays good computer position. And comment the sad face emoji if the image depicts improper computer posture. If you are watching through Facebook or YouTube, you can leave your answers in the comment box below. Or, if you are watching on TV, you can write them down on a piece of paper. Are you ready? Let us start! First picture. Have you made your guesses, Fernandina Teens? If you commented sad face emoji, then you are right. Good job. Next picture. If you commented sad face emoji, then you are correct. Awesome. Next picture. Third picture. 
What is your answer, Fernandina Teens? If you commented sad face emoji, then you are correct. Very good. Keep it up, Fernandina Teens. Next picture. Fourth picture. How about this picture? If you commented sad face emoji, then you are correct. Very good. Fernandina Teens. Next picture. Fifth picture. How about this last picture? If you commented heart emoji, then you are right. Very good. Good job, Fernandina Teens. So how did the activity go? Some pictures show that some of the computer users are likely to acquire injuries when they sit in front of the computer with bad posture. It is a reminder that we must follow good health practices to be more productive when using our computers as well as to avoid the risks of harm. Fernandina Teens, let us continue. Glare and Reflection If you can see your own reflection or window and light reflections on your computer screen, that is naturally a sign that you are suffering from monitor glare, which can be unsatisfying if the visual aspect of the monitor is important to what you are working on. There are ways to significantly decrease reflection and screen glare. Following these steps will eliminate glare and reflection on your monitor. First, adjust the monitor tilt. Simply tilt the monitor display and you'll eventually find a glare-free location for the monitor to rest. Next, changing the monitor's background and text colors is another fairly simple way to lessen glare and reflection. Lastly, cover your window with a curtain if the glare and reflections come from the sun. Keyboard Placement Place the keyboard in a position that allows the forearms to be close to horizontal and the wrist straight. If this causes the elbows to be held far out from the side of the body, then recheck the work surface height. Some people prefer to have wrist supported on the wrist rest or desk. Be careful not to have the wrist extended or bent in an upwards position. Avoid resting your palm or wrist on the keyboard. Your hands should float above the keys while you type. This will help you reach keys by moving your hands instead of stretching your fingers. Resting your palms on your wrist on the front of the keyboard and stretching your fingers can cause carpal tunnel syndrome. Numbness, tingling, and discomfort in the hand and forearm are all symptoms of carpal tunnel syndrome. You may relax your wrist while typing or using your computer by utilizing an ergonomic keyboard like this. Using a mouse. The wrist and forearm muscles should not be overworked by a well-designed mouse. Computer mouse selection and placement are essential. Using a computer mouse that is either too big or too small might result in painful wrist postures and excessive finger strain. You may choose a computer mouse depending on which hand is dominant, as well as to accommodate the size of your hand. For these reasons, a variety of mouse options comes in both hand orientations and different sizes. You may also use a mouse pad with the wrist rests to help reduce pressure on your wrists and hand. How to hold and move your mouse in the proper way. When using a computer mouse, avoid putting any weight on your wrist and never put your hand's weight on the mouse. 
This is the right way of handling our computer mouse properly. While holding the mouse, relax your hand and make sure your hand and arm are straight. Posture during keying. Good posture is essential for all users of computers. It comprises of a natural and relaxed position, providing opportunity for movement, and from which the user can assume several different positions. It is not a single, rigidly defined position. Here are the pictures that show practices of good posture when using a computer. Typing technique Typing is a physical activity and using a keyboard needs ability or skills. Therefore, learning proper typing technique is important. Occupational overuse injury is more common among unskilled typists because they often use only one or two fingers which may overload the finger tendons. Are constantly looking from keyboard to screen to keyboard which may strain neck. Last, often adopt a tense posture. Familiarize your keyboard to avoid small injuries and to make computer work more efficient and comfortable. You can use these pictures and practice finger chart while typing. This helps you type with speed. Gradually with practice, when they are able to type fast without having the need to look at the keyboard, they are said to have developed the two-hand touch typing skills through their muscle memory. Speed of keying. The efficiency and speed of modern computers makes it possible for a skilled computer user to type extremely quickly. This capability, reinforced by workload pressures, means the potential exists for users to key at speeds which may cause or contribute to occupational overuse syndrome. The role of the repetitive movement in injury is not fully understood but is believed to interfere with the lubrication capacity of tendons and the ability of muscles to receive sufficient oxygen supplies. 10,000 to 12,000 key strokes per hour is considered an acceptable standard. Finally, time on the keyboard. The maintenance of a fixed posture for long periods is tiring and increases the likelihood of muscular aches and pains. In addition, Long periods of repetitive movement and sustained visual attention can also give rise to fatigue-related complaints. It is recommended that computer users should avoid spending more than 5 hours a day on a keyboard duties and no longer than 50 minutes per hour without a postural stretching break. Always remember to take a break and never work on your computer for an extended period of time. Fernandina Teens, now that you have an idea about computer workstation ergonomics, I am sure you are already aware of the good health practices when using a computer. Let us review them by answering this activity. To answer the activity, Comment true if the statement about computer workstation ergonomics is correct. And false if it is not. If you are watching on Facebook or YouTube, you can leave your answers in the comment box below. Or if you are watching on TV, you can write them down on a piece of paper. Are you ready? Let us start! First sentence. Set the distance between your eye and the screen to a level that allows you to focus on the screen comfortably. What is your answer, Fernandina Teens? If you answered true, then you are right. Good job!
Next, please. Second sentence. When using a computer, changing posture at regular intervals maximizes fatigue. Have you figured this one out? If you answered true, then you are correct. Awesome! Next. Third sentence. When sitting in front of a computer, your knees should be bent at a comfortable angle with more than 90 degrees of flexion. What is your answer to this question, Fernandina Teens? If you answered false, then you are correct. Very good. Fourth sentence. It is recommended that users do not work on the keyboard for more than 5 hours per day and no more than 50 minutes per hour without taking a posture or stretching break. What is your answer, Fernandina Teens? If you answered true, then you are right. Good job! Fifth sentence. Occupational overuse injury is more common among unskilled typists. If you answered true, then you are right. Good job! I'm sure you got them all correct. To summarize our lesson for today, let us look at the key elements to remember. Ergonomic guidelines for computers. Viewing distance. The monitor should be two feet far away from the user's eyes. You can also apply 20-20-20 rule method if you are experiencing eye fatigue. Time using a computer. Encourage the user to take breaks and to use their physical energy in other activities to avoid simple computer injuries. Sit and height posture. Sit high enough to have arms and legs bent at 90 degrees. Footrest. Prevent dangling your feet and ensure to keep your feet on ground or floor. Mouse. Find one that fits your hand. Keyboard. Regular sized keyboards with light keying are recommended. Posture. Always apply good posture practices to avoid body pains. Good posture can boost your mood and confidence. Before we end this discussion, I'd like you to watch these video clips so that you can remember what we've learned today. May pa oras kaya kayo, Fernandinos? Ako pala ay Ellen Arlserano ng City Tourism Office ng Ciudad San Fernando. Ngayon yung bulan na ini, pag masasusyan tayo yung National Heritage Month na ating temang Victory and Humanity Upholding Filipino Heritage and Identity. Kambay na nini, metong ka rin aktibidades na yung siyudad at yung launching ng Bayong Heritage Passport. Yung Heritage Passport, at yung metong ka rin proyekto ng kaya katamong siyudad yung pamana muna ng Mayor Edwin D. Santiago. Anong no ka rin makalagay lang ang dingeganagan ng heritage sites, heritage structures, na akit tamo kin kay katamong heritage district. Makakaya daw din kay ni, ding importansya daw ding mapre na tradisyon, kay ni syudad, kalupa ng pamangawang parol, ang po yung pamangalesa. May aho siyang heritage passport, uling atin kang dapat gawan, Anong no ka rin puntalan mo na ding at syukin passport at saka ka mag-selfie kay ba't kanta palto making tourism office at mamyelang sticker ka rin ega na ganang apuntulan mo lugar at timong may ngari ang tutong passport. Balumin nga ni, panahon na ini, eta mo makain bisa lumal uli na ng COVID-19 pandemic. Kaya naman kimbanwa nga ini, 
Hagkatan ko na ding bikers tamo, edad 18 hanggang 50. Imbis na lumawot kayo po, di na nyo lang bita ka oras di kaya katamong heritage structures, Kenny Shuda. Anya naman ka rin mumunang 50 bikers ang makayari kaya katamong heritage passport, may di na lang premium only San Fernando loot bag. Ingawan nyo mo bakit na makapag-register, munta kayo mismo opisina na ng City Tourism, yung munisipyo, at saka kayong magdalang metong valid ID. Kabihan ninyo kayong heritage passport, ating makasipit ang instruction nung nano pa yung dapat gawan. Anya naman ka rin hanggang kapadyak yan, nanano ko pa, tara na! Fernandino Teens TV Hello everyone! Let's have a look at the advantages and relevance of computer ergonomics. If you're suffering from stress, eye fatigue, wrist discomfort, neck pain, or other health problems as a result of your computer use, you should watch this video. Computer ergonomics is designing the computer and workstation to the user's needs in order to reduce physical stress. Working for a long period of time can be as hard as to the body and overall health. So why is it useful or important? Computer ergonomics aids in the treatments of some condition that arise from prolonged computer use. Let's view this video. Due to her poor sitting position, this lady is suffering from back pain, leg, and muscle cramps. Remember to keep your back straight. To make yourself more comfortable, place a pillow on your back. You can use a book to level your eyes on the screen. Next. This man has also back pain and his feet are in a tiptoe position because his legs are too long. Always straighten your back to have your arms at 90 degrees. You can utilize another chair that fits your height so that both legs and arms are 90 degrees. Stuck up books can be used to level the screen of the user. And another keyboard can be used to type comfortably. The reflection on the monitor can be reduced by covering the window with the curtain. Next, this child has arm pain and she must use a pillow to allow her arms bent in 90 degrees. Her legs are on 90 degrees and uses a stool to prevent her feet from dangling. Using a computer for long periods is not recommended. Adding physical activity in your lifestyle is definitely healthy and it can lessen physical computer injuries. Biking is an example of physical activity that can help you stay healthy. Biking is a fun activity, especially when doing it with your family or friends. Consider also the food you eat. Cupcakes and donuts can be changed to nutritious food like apples. Hindi lamang sa larangan ng pangkabuhayan apektado ang maraming pamilyang Pilipino, kundi maging sa larangan ng pagkatuto ng bawat batang Pilipino. Inilunsad ng siyudad ng San Fernando ang programa Nurturing Environment and System for Thriving or NEST isang education community pantry na naglalayon para sa isang malawakang pagtulong, pagantabay at paggabay na ang focus ay ang makapagbigay ng tulong at suporta sa ating mga mag-aaral sa pamamagitan ng pagbibigay ng educational needs gaya na lamang ng school supplies, 
tutorial sessions, study tips, at iba pang mga pamamaraan na mas lalong makatutulong sa pag-angat ng ating edukasyon. Dahil hindi hadlang ang pandemya sa magandang kinabukasang naghihintay sa ating mga mag-aaral. Sino-sino nga ba ang mga kalahok sa programang ito? Sa pagtutulungan ng ating school administrators, guro, magulang, at iba pang mga miyembro ng ating komunidad gaya ng barangay officials at sangguniang kabataan ay siguradong magiging mas matagumpay ang programang ito. Paano nga ba ang magiging proseso ng naturang programa? Una, magkakaroon tayo ng isang Facebook group, ang Pampanga High School Nest Education Community Pantry na pangungunahan ng Educational Pantry Coordinator. Ang mga magulang, tagapangalaga at mga guro ay ia-add ng ating Educational Pantry members sa Facebook group na ito. Sa page na ito, maaaring i-post ng mga magulang at tagapangalaga o sino mang miyembro ng Educational Pantry ang kanilang mga kahilingan o requests. Kailangan ding ilagay ang pangalan ng mag-aaral, grade at section para sa mas agarang aksyon. Oo nga pala, hindi lang requests ang pwedeng i-post. Pwede rin mag-post ang mga nais magbigay ng tulong o mga gustong mag-donate. Sabi nga nila, sharing is caring. Pandaan na ang Facebook group na ito ay pribado at posts na may kaugnayan lamang sa page na ito ang maaaprobahan. Mayroon din palang Google Form na ipamamahagi kung saan maaari nating isumite ang ating requests o kahilingan. Paano naman ang mga walang internet access sa bahay? Huwag mangamba dahil merong mga nakalaang drop boxes ang ating paaralan na kung saan maaaring ihulog ng mga magulang at tagapangalaga ang kanilang requests. Sa mga nais namang mag-donate ng school supplies, maaaring ilagay ang mga ito sa tabi ng drop boxes. Maaari ring mag-donate ng mga kagamitan o cash donation kaakibat ang pagsusumite ng deed of donation form. Pangalawa, mahalaga ang ugnayan ng mga guro at ng mga magulang o tagapangalaga sa programang ito. Gamit ang video calls o chats ay ipahahayag ng mga guro ang adhikain ng programang ito sa mga magulang o tagapangalaga. Maaari ring gawin ang orientation na ito ng face-to-face -face, kasabay ng schedule ng kuhanan ng mga module. Gaya ng nabanggit, hindi lamang mga bagay ang maaaring i-donate. Pwede ring mag-conduct ng tutorial session, study tips, at iba pang mga kagamitan sa pagkatuto, gayat ng mga aklat o kaya ay gadgets. Ikatlo, ang requested needs ng ating mga magulang o tagapangalaga ay ililista ng ating nest focal person. Ang mga coordinator naman ang mag-aayos ng mga ito. Ang advisors ng ating mga mag-aaral, guidance counselor, at iba pang mga guro ay ipaaalam sa ating mga magulang at tagapangalaga ang petsa at oras ng pamimigay ng requested needs na gaganapin sa paaralan. Sabi nga nila, it takes a village to raise a child, kaya naman aktibo at iba yung pakikilahok ang inaasahan sa pagsasanib puwersa ng paaralan at barangay na siyang tutukoy sa pangangailangan ng bawat Fernandinong mag-aaral at kikilos upang matugunan ito sa tulong at suporta rin ng mga miyembro ng komunidad. Isang malawakang komunidad para sa isang produktibong educational community pantry ay tiyak na lilikha ng iba yung pagkilos upang maging mas magaan at madali ang pagkatuto ng bawat kabataang Fernandino. Kaya naman tandaan, magbigay ayon sa kakayahan, Kumuha ayon sa pangangailangan. Fernandino Teens TV
does tearing at computer make you feel exhausted? Do you experience aches and pains? Looks like you will need some assistance with ergonomics. Ergonomics is the event object that is essentially about you and the things that you can do to make your workstation more relaxed. Strange it may sound, sitting on a table with your computer all day is really very hard on your body. But if you will organize your workstation with an awareness with ergonomics, you could prevent things like eye strain, neck and back pain. Here are some guidelines to help you stay safe, comfortable, and productive all day long. Keyboard placement is important. When you're typing, your wrist should be straight and relaxed to avoid any strain. If you feel strained, you might look at a specific product that can give you an extra support. For instance, an ergonomic keyboard. Next, raise or lower your chair so that your wrist is in correct position. If your feet no longer reach the floor, you can find a footrest. If you are in your chair, you must be sitting in a natural, comfortable position. Try to avoid bending or sitting too straight. Many office chairs are adjustable and designed to offer you additional support and spaces where you need it, like the lower back. Take the time to study how your chair works. Your monitor must be at comfortable distance away from your eyes. Allow at least 2 feet or 24 inches from your eyes or about an arm length. The top of the monitor must be about an eye level, but this may differ depending on the size of the monitor. If you are using a laptop, Consider obtaining an external mouse and keyboard. In that way, you can still place your monitor at the correct distance and height while still being able to type comfortably. Adjust the screen brightness on your computer screen so that it matches your environment. If you are looking for your screen and you feel like looking at bright light, it's too bright. If it's dark and foggy, it's too dim. This feature might be called night mode or night shift. And other people find it significantly decreases eye strain. Another way to prevent strain of the body is to take regular breaks. For instance, look away from your monitor every once in a while. 2020 is a good method to follow. Every 20 minutes, focus your eyes 20 feet away for 20 seconds. You can even download an application that will prompt you when it's time to take a rest. It is also essential to get up move every hour. So, take a walk, have a snack. Every time it takes to avoid sitting in the same position for too long, even when you work in a sitting desk. It is still vital to move every now and then. Clutter is one more common problem and it can lead to strain and injury if you are not cautious. In some cases, like loose power cords, it can even be a tripping hazard. If you have paperwork or materials that you need to keep away, it's best to keep them somewhere else than leaving them on your desk. Let's review. Sitting on a desk all day is surprisingly hard work, but a bit consideration to ergonomics will help you stay safe, comfortable, and productive throughout the day. Kami iyong 
kasama sa bawat takin Magkaakbay nating lulutasin Dito sa Fernandino Teens TV Ang boses ko ay mahalaga Dito sa Fernandino Teens TV Ikaw lagi ang dita Ang mga ay 